Talking of results, I can't believe it, Joseph. We read out a stat earlier. England have never won an opening Euro Championship game. Can you believe that? They've never won one, the opening game. Of course I can believe it because the, <laughs> because the stats are there. But I think you... You are not you because you you are not English, but you you English you are always very pessimistic and you look to the negative to the negative stats. You know I prefer not to look to it when when they are negative. Just forget it. You have a match to play against uh, uh, Croatia. Is the opening match? Yes. Is difficult? Yes. They are a good team. Yes. Um, but forget the negative record and just think about the game and think about winning. So. There's a lot going for England in this tournament. Yeah, there's injuries at the moment, but with the games at Wembley, can and should England win this European Championship? Can, 100%, can. Should, I think, is is a little bit too much. Is a little bit of um, an extra pressure that they don't, they don't need. But of course they can, and of course they have... Uh, the potential to say they should we can say the same in relation to to France for example we could say yeah. the same again you know Portugal they are the champion to say should in football is I think is is too much I think they should be positive they should believe in themselves they should go to every match thinking that they can win it and of course they can Jose, if you look at the uh, squad itself, um, the big dilemma for Gareth Southgate, what system does he play? Does he play three at the back without Harry Maguire at the moment or he goes four? Because I think we've got a lot of attacking players. Could you get Grealish, Mount um, and Foden in the same team in, in that opening game or do you think you'd be a bit more cautious? <laughs> yeah, this is the <laughs> this is the difficult side of uh, me accepting to be with you because... Um, I am a coach, mm. you know, and uh, because of the nature of uh, of the jobs, uh, Gareth Southgate, he was never <laughs> commenting about my United or my Chelsea or my Spurs, so it's a difficult position for me. But saying that, um, I respect, I support, I am with Gareth, I mm. wish him the best. Now I'm going to try to, not to be a, a coach I'm trying to forget a little bit of yeah. these mm. ethics that we have or we should have in between us and I'm going to try to be one of you. <laughs> and being one of you is to feel free to have an opinion mm. but of course respecting yeah. uh, respecting the decisions. Um, they can play both. They can play with three, they can play with four. They do this, they did this for a long time. They had lots of of matches to play between uh, the moment where Gareth got the, the team until now. They went through uh, important competitions. Mm. They went through, um, I cannot use the, the S, S words, but lots of S word Trouble. matches yeah. that they played, easy matches where they could uh, try anything, playing against, uh, I don't know, San Marino or mm. So many of these of these teams, so they they know how to play. Mm. At the same time, something that I always felt is important is the players' knowledge and experience in in their clubs. You can transfer it yeah. to the national team, and the more you do it, the more you do it, um, a more solid team you have. And you look to the players in the national team; they have a lot of knowledge. They have a lot of tactical experiences. Some some guys they play in the clubs with three in the back, some guys they play in the club with mm. four, you can get them and make a transfer. So I think they can play both. Um, looking to the the first match against uh, Croatia, and I think this is a competition where you have to go uh, match after match mm. and think about Croatia and forget what is coming uh, after. I think England is going to face probably one of the best midfielders in the, um, in the tournament. Uh, Brozovic, Modric, uh, Kovacic for mm. me is mm. is top of the tops. Um, Brozovic in England we don't know him so well because no. uh, all this time in England, Brozovic is a fantastic, uh, fantastic player, very aggressive, great position, but at the same time good technique, good arrival in mm. the box, even coming from a more defensive position. Modric, we don't need to no. to say anything. Fabulous career, fabulous. And, um, and Kovacic, I always feel that he's much better than what people think. Mm. And um, I am very upset with him because he played in every club I've been, but never with me. 
Is that right? Yeah. He wow. played for Real Madrid, yeah. but yeah. not with me. He yeah. played for Chelsea, but not with me. He played for Inter, but not with me. Mm. So I I love the guy and the guy follow follow my clubs. Maybe, uh, maybe goes like to Tottenham. You. Maybe goes to Tottenham. <laughs> maybe goes to Tottenham next Tottenham next Madrid. season. But, that, but he never played for me. So wow. this to say what to say that when you play against such a strong midfield, yeah, is there that you have to control. So why to play with three in the back uh, when their power is not there? Um, since Mandzukic finished, where is the top the top striker for Croatia? Is mm. their problem? Mm. Uh, they have Perisic on the sides, you know. They have Rebic. Is um, not a striker, but plays around. But he's there in midfield. So for me, you play with two centre backs. You don't need more than that, and you concentrate your midfield. Midfield, but to, that's what to, England are strong. You know, do you match them with skill and ability, or do you maybe think I've got to protect the very good midfield? We'll play two holding players, maybe Phillips and Rice, or do you match them with your best, the likes of Foden, Grealish, Mount, Rice holding? No, I think to I think to be offensive, you have to be in control of matches. How can you be offensive if if you don't have the ball? So. Uh, it's important to to control that midfield, and I believe it's more important to to play with three midfield players there. I'm not saying which ones. You didn't ask me yet, um, but I think it's important to be in control of of that area and not to be scared of playing with with the back with the back five. I think it's enough. Play play with the back four, the full backs with freedom to go. And playing with three midfielders, when I say three midfielders, I say, for example, one of them can be Foden. Mm. Um, it's not like uh, we are speaking about, okay, Jordan Anderson cannot play, but we are not saying Anderson, Rice and Calvin Phillips. We are not saying that. Um, but I believe that is important to be in control. You let them play, they play. Mm. They hide the ball, they play, they take the initiative from you. Um Emotionally, is not good because you are at home, you want to win, you want to start. It's important to dominate and don't let them play. And sometimes people think dominate is to to have a go and to go crazy to them. Dominate is to be, is to be solid, is to be in control. Mm, session, yeah. And when you have a good midfield like England can, can have, and then with the talent you have in attack, you are adding three attacking players to, let's say, to these midfield so i think england has as everything but garrett he tried with them many times with five in the back if if he wants to go for that i don't see any any problem too mm.